Hi there, Nicole Boynton with Texas National Title. Today we are going to talk about some ways you can customize your agent single line display in Matrix. I have run a search of actives in 78759 and I'm going to show you a couple of tricks you may not be aware of. First thing is that we're going to insert a new column. I'm going to put my mouse right here next to the word address. I get this crossbow and from there I'm going to do one left click and we're going to do insert column. When I insert column it brings up this box and I'm able to do a search. So if I want to add a column to find out if the master is available on main I can type in the word main to search for that. I'm sorry, primary bed. We don't call it master anymore. Primary bed on main, that's the column I want to insert. I'm going to hit apply. And now you'll see that that information will populate right here next to the address column. This has made this column pretty long because the title of it has a lot of letters and I would like to change the way that that's displayed. So I'm gonna put my mouse now just right above the title of that column and click again. Then I'm going to change how this is labeled. I'm just gonna do main yes or no. I'm gonna hit apply and now I can take my column and shrink it so that it takes up less space. So if I put my mouse right here on that line, I get this straight line with the arrows and then I'm gonna pull and drag, pretty similar to what you would do to change a column in Excel. Then let's say we want to sort by main level beds. If I click on the title, that will allow me to sort and what you'll see is that it brings all of the yeses to the top. I think I've actually reverse sorted yes. So I'm going Z to A because I did this once before. So normally it'll go A to Z, then you double you click again, it'll go Z to A. So if I re-click it, now it's going to go A to Z. All my no's are at the top. Therefore, if my client wants a house that does not have a primary bedroom on the first floor, they want all the bedrooms up, we can start with these first few 10 properties, then start looking at the ones that do have a primary bedroom on the first floor. Then let's say that there are columns you want to remove. And again, we're still, we're in the agent single line, right? Which is your standard single line report is what you get as default report. You have all of these icons over here. Some you may use, some you may not. Let's say that PR, not one that you ever use. I'm gonna put my mouse again above the title. I don't wanna put it on the title cause that will sort, but right above. And then I'm gonna to click to get that same pop-up box. And now we're gonna do remove column. So when I remove the column, that RPR icon goes away. Last thing is that we can drag and drop. Again, similar to an Excel feature. Let's say that there are specific things you want further to the left side and you want to be able to move things around as you see fit. So let's say we want to move list price further to the left. Again, we're going to put the mouse over on that column, not on the column name, just next to it. Got the crossbow. I'm going to grab and hold and then I'm just gonna drag and drop it where I want it. Could adjust that back out by putting my mouse between the columns and shift anything around in the way that you want it. So once you've made the changes and your single line is exactly the way that you prefer it, if you want your single line to show up this way every time you log into, into Unlock MLS, then you're going to want to come over here to the right to the gear, this little settings default. You're going to click on the default and you can say set current display as my starting search default. When you click on that, what's going to happen is that every time you are in the agent single line, it will always have the new columns that you've added, will always have the ones that you removed will be gone, it will be sorted the way that you sorted, so it will remember all of these settings. If you want to keep the agent single line and just have a different version, then you can do that too. You'll just simply click on manage display 
and we will give this a new name. I might put main bed so that I know that this is the view where I have a column with the main bed on the primary floor. And then I will do save as copy. So now instead of my display being the agent single line, now I have a new report available that is called main bed dash agent single line. And so anytime I run a search and I am on the regular agent single line, I can come back up to the display dropdown and I can change it to my newly created display that has the customizations that I want. So I have either option. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, look forward to seeing you very soon. Please reach out to your TNT sales and marketing executive if you're interested in scheduling a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Take care.